here everyone. Uh, I'm Brendan and today I'm going to be reflecting on the gospel for today. So today's gospel comes from Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 36 and it says, immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking upon the sea, they, they screamed, It's a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, Command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. After the people of that place recognized him, they sent word throughout the region, and brought all who were sick to, to him, and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. So, to me, this gospel today really speaks to me because it shows the importance of faith in a way that's different from how we always see it. So this is really good on um, the story of Peter falling into the water. It's, it's very symbolic. So you see Peter starting, he's super faithful, he believes with all his heart, says, Jesus, allow me to walk upon this water. He trusts in the Lord to be able to do the impossible. And he is able to, he walks in the water, but then he becomes frightened, and when he realizes, he says, oh no, maybe I was wrong. The moment that happens, bam, like that, he starts falling into the water. And although he doubted, as soon as he cried out, Lord, save me, Jesus came immediately and saved him, pulled him up out of the water, and asked him, said, why did you doubt? So this is really symbolic for when you doubt uh, the Lord, doubt Jesus, you fall into sin. But it doesn't matter how far or how deep you think into it, once you come back and you understand and you, and you cry out to the Lord and ask for his forgiveness or his saving, he will always be there for you immediately. And then we see again, all the sick, they, all the people who went to Jesus to be healed, they truly believed. They said, Lord, just let me touch just the smallest piece of your cloak. They wanted only that. They truly believed with all their hearts. And because of that, they were healed. And that, to me, is just one of the most powerful things that you can read. It's one of the most fam uh, most well-known stories in in the Bible for the, this exact reason. It's It can apply to so many different situations, and it's true in any aspect of life. And the moral is, Jesus is Lord, it's, and he'll always be there for you, just like, just like a friend.